Hey everybody, this is Brian, and if you've been following along, this is our 13th video in our HTML tutorial. Today we are going to talk about putting a table inside of a table. Now, I'm not going to really explain a lot of this because it was covered in our last tutorial. If some of this looks unfamiliar to you, you should probably, you know, flip back to a previous tutorial and really learn about tables. Okay, so we have just a simple table. Whoops, help if I turn these off. We have just a simple table. And boy, did I screw that up. There we go. Now we have a simple table with one row. We're going to add three rows. And we're going to add a header, a footer and a body. Save our work, flip over, refresh. You can see we now have a header, a body, and a footer. Now let's uh, stylize this a little bit. Say we want the header to be 50 high by, and let's say a background color of red. And we want our footer to have a background color of gray. Come on, mouse. There we go. And let's make this uh, 20 pixels high. Save our work. Refresh. Now you can see how we have a header, a body, and a footer. Now this is typical of most websites. They'll have like their logo up here, maybe a menu bar, and a body. Um, now let's get to the heart of this tutorial. Why would you put a table inside of a table? The answer to that is actually pretty simple. Tables are used for positioning. So, let's say in our table we want a row with uh, two columns in it. And I'm just going to copy and paste this. Now you notice I've indented this. Um, you really don't need to indent. Um, it's just the style choice. When you get into more professional web editors, they'll do that for you automatically. Now you notice it just says left, right. Why is that? Well, we haven't really done anything to the width or the height of this table. So let's make this table 100% width, 100% height. And let's actually turn the border on so we can see what's going on. Now this will not be 100% the width and height of the page, but rather 100% of this cell. We'll refresh and I'll show you what I mean here. There we go. Now you can see we have a left and a right. But you notice how they're just kind of haphazard. Let's say we want this left to take up most of the page and we want to put an image over here. We're going to go ahead and do that. Now, if you've been watching our previous tutorials, you've noticed that I've used a picture of Chuck Norris that we found together, and I don't want to get sued, and I don't want to get roundhoused in the face, so we're going to use a different picture today. And I'm just adding some alignments here. We're going to put the picture on the right side at the bottom. Let's save our work. And you can see now how our text is now aligned to the top left. Our image is aligned to the bottom right. We can put as much text as we want, and it'll stop right at this border right here. And anything we put over here will stay in this cell. And we still have our header, our footing, our, excuse me, our footer, and our body. So that is why you would put a table inside of a table. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining and you know as always send me any questions or comments you may have. Thank you for watching.